Well, hello friends, it's Miss Gisa, and I am so excited that you're here to join me for today's read aloud. It's called Anaya's First Day of School, and it's written by Raven Hawes and illustrated by Victor Oni Anaubi. This book is very special because author Raven wrote to Butterfly Garden Preschool and then signed her name, Raven Hawes. And if you order a book, she will sign it for you and write your name in it. This story is about Anaya's first day of school. And there's a lot of math inside. So we're gonna work with numbers today while we read the story. Let's get started. Anaya jumped to the floor, filled with excitement. Today, I get to go to big girl school. What do I need to do first, she thought. I can find my clothes. She opens her closet, pulls down everything that she can reach, and throws them on the bed. She takes a look at what she has. I have this shirt, this shirt, this shirt, this shirt, and this shirt. How many shirts does Anaya have on the bed? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. What color do I want to wear? Hmm, pink. Let me see. This one is pink, this one is pink, and this one is pink. How many pink shirts are there on the bed? Let's count them. Yes, there are three. How many other shirts on the bed? Let's count. One, two. What color are they? That's right, purple. How many pink shirts did Anaya pull out of the closet? Yes, three. How many purple shirts did Anaya pull out of the closet? That's right, two. Three pink shirts and two purple shirts, making up the five shirts that Anaya pulled out of the closet. Carefully looking over the three pink shirts, hmm, unicorn, hearts, or bunnies? I think I will wear this one, singing, Big ears, big ears, help take away my first day fears. Anaya sets the pink shirt with bunnies to the side. She walks back to the bed, takes the shirts that don't relieve fears and throws them to the floor. Anaya pulled out five shirts from the closet, picked one to wear to school. How many shirts did she throw to the floor? What do you guys think? Yes, that's right, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Pants or skirt, Anaya wonders. How many pairs of pants are on the bed? How many bottoms does Anaya have to choose from? Let's count the pants. One, two, three, four. Now let's count the skirt together. One, four pairs of pants and one skirt, total five bottoms, Anaya has to choose from. I know I want to wear my new sandals. These pants will cover up my bow. I'm gonna wear the skirt. Pleased with her first day of school outfit, Anaya runs to her brother's room. Evan, 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 it's time to get up. It's the first day of school. Evan ducks his head under the cover. Evan, we can't be late. Get up, get up, get. Evan springs his head from the cover. Out, get out of my room. Anaya lowers her head in shame and walks out into the hallway. Evan quickly feels bad for kicking his little sister out of his room. He thinks, I'll give her 10 seconds and call her back in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Anaya quietly turns the knob. Evan, please wake up, she whispers as she peeks her head through a small opening in the door. I'm up, buttercup, Evan says playfully, letting Anaya know that he is no longer upset. Anaya's eyes light up with excitement as she pushes the rest of her body through the door, jumping up and down. Evan, I get to go to school with you today, Anaya exclaimed. 
Yes, I know. We will walk to school together, Evan explained. What do you think my teacher will be like? Will she be nice? Will she like me? Do you think I will make any new friends? Will I have fun? Anaya asked before giving Evan a chance to answer the first question. Overwhelmed with questions, do you know what you want to wear? Evan asks. Yes, I'm wearing my pink shirt with bunnies, a skirt, and sandals with a bow, Anaya replies. Amazed at Anaya's readiness, well, have you taken a shower and brushed your teeth? Evan asks with hopes of getting a moment's peace. No, I will do that right now, Anaya answers as she takes off to the bathroom. Evan throws himself back into his bed, smothers his face with his pillow, and screeches thinking about the long walk to school with his little sister. Just then, Mom walks up the stairs, looks into Anaya's room, and sees clothes everywhere. She shakes her head, chuckles, and calls out for her anxious daughter. Anaya, where are you? She's in the shower, Mom, Evan answers. Mom walks into Evan's room. Did you see the mess your sister made in her room? Mom asked. No, I haven't seen it, but I know she already picked out her clothes, Evan answered jokingly. All right, I need you both downstairs in 30 minutes, Mom requested as she walked out. Anaya, don't forget to count to 100 as you brush your teeth, Mom yelled as she walked back downstairs. I won't, Anaya replied. Anaya finished her shower and went to the sink to brush her teeth. She wet her toothbrush, spread the toothpaste on, and began to count to 100. Count with her. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Halfway through, let's keep going. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, almost there, keep going, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. You did it. You counted to 100 with Anaya. Anaya rinsed her mouth, tied her robe, and ran to Evan's room to tell him of her progress. Evan, I am all done. Now what? Anaya proclaimed. Now put your clothes on, then go downstairs and get breakfast, Evan said as he hurries to get himself ready. Fully dressed, Anaya walks down the stairs into the kitchen to greet Mom. Good morning, Mom. I am all ready, Anaya says as she twists and turns in her new skirt. Good morning, my big girl. Are you excited about going to big girl school today? Mom asked, already knowing the answer. Anaya answered excitedly, I am. I am going to meet my new teacher, make some new friends, play and walk to school with Evan. Mom explains, Yes, it will be wonderful, but there are three more things that must be done before you are all ready. Number one, your hair needs to be combed. Number two, you need to eat breakfast. And number three, you need your backpack. Dad will be out in a moment to comb your hair 
while I finish getting breakfast together, Mom adds. Dad walks in, greets Mom and Anaya with a hug and kiss and asks, are you ready to get your hair combed, sweetie? Anaya reluctantly answers because she knows it will hurt. Yes, Dad, I'm ready. As Dad combs Anaya's hair, she asks, what do you think I will do in school? Well, you will meet new people and learn new things, Dad answered. Anaya daydreamed of all the nice people she would meet and all the fascinating things she would learn. Before she knew it, Dad was all done with her hair and she didn't feel a bit of pain. All right, sweetie, we are done. Go wash up for breakfast, Dad said as he tied ribbons around Anaya's two ponytails. Anaya skipped to the bathroom, stared at her first day of school hairdo, washed her hands and headed into the kitchen. Anaya, will you please help me and set the table, Mom asked. Of course, Anaya replied as she pulled the step stool up to the counter. She carefully took down four plates, four glasses, and four napkins. What shape are the plates? Hmm, what do you think? That's right, they're squares. Anaya placed the square plates next to one another on the table. What is the shape of the glasses? Hmm, what do you guys think? That's right, they're cylinders. Anaya sat the cylinder-shaped glasses above the square plates. In what shape are the napkins folded? What do you think? Yes, the napkins are triangles. Anaya laid the triangle folded napkin below the square plates. Table set, Anaya yells. Breakfast's done, Mom yells. Dad rushes in. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to sit and have breakfast. I am running late. At least grab an apple on your way out, Mom urges. Have a great day at school, and please be careful on your walk, Dad says, as he hugs Evan and Anaya and kisses Mom goodbye. With Dad leaving for work, are all of the place settings still needed? How many place settings did Anaya set? Do you remember? That's right, she set four place settings. Who did she set the four place settings for? Dad, Mom, Evan, and herself. That makes four. Dad is not able to sit and have breakfast, so his plate setting is no longer needed and it can be taken away. How many place settings are needed now? One, two, three. Mom, Evan, and Anaya sit down and enjoy breakfast. Mom glances at the time. It's time for you two to get going. I don't want you to be late on your very first day, Mom said as she cleared the table. Evan and Anaya walked to the front door, grabbed their backpacks off the floor, and said goodbye to mom. Along their walk, they are joined by Evan's friend, Jonathan, and his two sisters, Hazley and Kylie. There were two, Anaya and Evan. Those two were joined by three, Jonathan, Hazley, and Kylie. How many children walked together to school? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Let's play I spy, suggested Hazley. All right, Anaya and Kylie said together, I spy with my little eyes something that is tall, red, and shaped like a triangle, Hazley said while giggling. Anaya and Kylie looked around and around, trying to find the tall, red, triangle-shaped thing that Hazley spied. Oh, I see it, Anaya shouted. It's that, as she pointed up. That's a yield sign, said Evan. My turn, Anaya said. I spy with my little eye something that is white, shaped like a square with black spots on it. Kylie and Hazley looked around and around, trying to find the white square-shaped black spotted thing that Anaya spied. That, Hazley yelled, the street sign. No, it has spots on it, Anaya explained. I see it. It's that, Kylie said while pointing to Jonathan's shirt. Yes, Anaya says. These are dice, and they are cubes, not squares, Jonathan explains. 
Well, girls, we are here. Here is your school, Evan states as he gives his little sister a big hug. School is a little further down. We will meet you back here when school is out. The girls say goodbye to their big brothers and head to the front door. As the girls make it to the front of the line, they are greeted with a huge smile and a hug. What is your name? The lady asked. My name is Anaya Hawes, Anaya boldly replied. Welcome, Anaya, the lady said as she checked her list. Your class is right down the hall, the one with the big yellow bell on the door. Anaya feasted her eyes on that big yellow bell and marched directly to the classroom. Welcome to kindergarten, Anaya heard as she walked into the classroom. My name is Mrs. Harris, and I will be your teacher this year. Let's find your seat while we wait on our new friends. Mrs. Harris took Anaya by the hand and walked her to her seat. Anaya sat at her seat, looked around the room, and patiently waited on the teacher to tell her what she wanted her to do next. Anaya's classmates entered the classroom. Mrs. Harris greeted each of them and walked them to their seat. Three chimes were heard across the classroom. Mrs. Harris stood in front of the class. Welcome, all my new friends. Look around the room. These are your new friends too. I am so excited to have you in my class this year. We are going to have an amazing time as we learn many new things. If there were any fears remaining, they all left in this moment. Anaya smiled and thought to herself, I am ready. I am going to enjoy my new school. And that's the end of the story. If you enjoyed the story, you can follow the link below to get your own copy of the book and be sure to listen to the interview with author Raven because she talks about how she went about creating the idea for this book and writing the book. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.